have the Walton March, which also had a life of its own and I guess also takes us on a bit of a journey from the beginning of the album in terms of the moments of British history as well that you're spotlighting. Absolutely, yeah. it sort of sets the scene at the beginning of the album. Walton was a, an amazing composer who tried his hand at just about every genre of music there was and his real success came from um, film music or, and often in a very Elgarian style as this march is. I mean, it was originally written as a TV theme to a, a program about Winston Churchill. Sadly, it was never aired, um, but this music still exists. And he wrote several marches um, in, a, in a similar style that have kind of stood the test of time, really. And because they are so Elgarian in nature, it really works on the organ. And you have the kind of typical themes that you might see in the pomp and circumstance marches of, of Elgar. So it's, it's, it's a great kind of opening um, idea. You know, film music on the organ is, is not something that, uh, you know, always happens. So it was a great opportunity to record this fabulous transcription by Tom Wimpenny, who's, who's the organist of um, St Albans Abbey. And uh, uh, I'm very grateful to him to, you know, allow me to borrow his work. There are a few pieces we know and love of Elgar that have become, you know, absolutely the pinnacle of his style and, and sort of what we recognize as his great character in music. Uh, it was written in 1897, as you say, for the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria. And it was, it was premiered in many different forms. It was um, performed by brass ensemble, full orchestra. Um, and it was really, a, you know, it really thrust him into the limelight. Um, and it was a, a great success as a piece. There's also um, John Ireland, of course, wrote his Downland Suite, another transcription that features the elegy movement, the slow movement. Um, John Ireland was very enamoured with the Sussex Downs, and essentially this depicts, you know, uh, the landscape, beautiful rolling hills of Sussex in the music. I hope that in the album there is a kind of, you know, snapshots of Britain kind of through the centuries and, and even through, you know, different locations and places.